In this video, we're going to work out problem number 20. So number 20. So we have the function f of x equals 2x minus 7. And we have to find the inverse. So first, I'm going to show you how to do this without showing any work. Then I'll go through the steps and show all the work. So solution one, uh, we're just going to do it. So f takes x, multiplies it by 2, and then it subtracts 7. So to find the inverse, we have to undo this in reverse order. So in reverse order, undoing this, right, because that's what a function and its inverse do, uh, they undo each other. So the opposite of subtracting 7 is adding 7. And the opposite of multiplying by 2, or the inverse operation, is dividing by 2. So let's write the answer down. So f inverse of x, based off this information, it takes x. And again, even without looking at this, I'm just going to look at this. So let's do it again. f takes x, multiplies by 2, subtracts 7. So the opposite of subtracting 7 is adding 7. And the opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. Or you could just look here, right? Takes x, adds 7 divided by 2. So that's one way to do it. You write down what f does, and then you um, work it out in reverse order, and that's, that's your inverse function. The other way to do it is the way that's usually taught like in, in school and stuff. So the first step is to call it y. Okay, And then the second step is to switch your x and y. So this is x equals 2y minus 7. And then the third step is to solve for y. So to solve this for y, I guess we have to start maybe by, um, looks like adding 7, so plus 7. So we get x plus 7 equals 2y. And then to finish solving for y, we just divide by 2. So we get y equals x plus 7 over 2. So the inverse function is x plus 7 over 2. And this should be one of the choices. Yeah, it's, it's choice A again. So how convenient. So it's A. So I hope that made sense.